Can you imagine standing in your living room and watching a ball of light go right into your television set and make a loud noise and then realize your TV is not working anymore? Well, that's exactly what happened to some people who had damage from ball lightning. Now, this is a phenomenon I saw that inspired me to become a meteorologist as a kid not far from here. I didn't realize at the time, though, in 1966, there was a study written. So there was already material on what I had seen, not knowing what it was. So NASA had documented stories of ball and bead lightning, talking about the size and duration with a call to action, asking people in that study cited above just exactly what they might know, what they may have seen about this phenomena. So they gathered that they are between 2 and 80 inches on average in diameter, and these typically are balls of light. They last anywhere from 0.5 to 36 seconds in these documented events. And I know as I was driving, uh, as a child sitting in the back seat looking out the window, driving between a bunch of thunderstorms, I saw something that looked like this about the size of a basketball. And behind it were trailing arcs of orange. So with that being said, it was about four feet above the ground and hovering very, very slowly as we drove past. So I had my eyes on that for about 10, 15 seconds, saw a tornado that next morning a few hours later, and uh, that was it for me. I knew I was obsessed with weather, kind of like a couple of people I have talked with. Now I got some statements here. There's one here from Harvey saying, when it happened to him, he's driving down the road. He says it just appeared out of nowhere, right in front of us, and then exploded. Uh, they say it was purple this time. They can be all kinds of colors. For uh, Andrew, it sounded more like my experience. It looked like a basketball floating back and forth. And then it came down, hit the ground, and spread out as it dissipated. He says probably about a mile from where he was, but it left a mark the size of a hula hoop. And so with that, he said there was no thunder sound and instead a hissing. So that is what has been documented. And, and they're so rare and last so, so uh, little time that they're hard to catch. If you ever caught one on video, we'd love to see that. Please submit those to us. You can catch me at amets at kxnet.com.